Okay, guys. So appreciate you and uh, all you do for helping facilitate worship on Sunday morning. And as I said when I spoke to you the other night, the first night of choir rehearsal, we're going to be using Planning Center online for all our communication this season. And I want to give you just a brief overview of Planning Center online and how you can use it. And I'm just going to assume you have not used it at all before. So the first thing I want to show you is what you should have already received or will receive shortly is this email right here that says Welcome to Planning Center Online. I'm just going to click on that. Of course we've got our friendly Jonathan Doe here and you're going to see this screen and what you need to do is click here to set your password as that says. So we'll click there to set the password. We'll go down here and we're going to set it as 111111 because it needs to be six characters. 111111. Of course, you can set it for whatever you want to set it. We'll hit this. And now we are ready to log in. You can log in right there if you'd like to. You certainly don't have to. You just type in the email address and the password 111111. And it will take you to your account. So we can see with Jonathan Doe that he has been requested to sing on September 20th. That's the first choir Sunday. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to log out because I want to show you uh, something else. I'm going to log out of the account that's just up here on the right. Okay, So now we've logged out and I'm going to go back to my email account. Go to my inbox here. Every time that you receive an invite for choir, you will receive an email. And sometimes that email will have multiple invites in it. Sometimes it won't, depending on how we send that out. So here's your email for September 20th. You received that. It would look like this. If you scroll down here, it tells you the date that the choir is singing. It tells you the services here that they're singing in. Choir rehearsal is always listed here, and then the call times. For right now, this is for vocalists and band. We're going to try and change that so it lists the choir call time too. thought that might be helpful. And then you can decline or accept. So if you know you're not going to be there, it's helpful for us if you decline. That way we know you won't be uh, singing uh, on that Sunday. If you are going to be there, you hit the accept button, and it will take you to your account. Okay. So the first thing I want you to notice, of course it says up here, thank you for accepting the invitation, and now uh, myself and Brad will be receiving an email in our inbox that says that you will be there on September 20th, so that's what happens when you accept. When you decline, we get an email that says you won't be there, which, is, which can be helpful uh, to us, but it's not the main reason for using this software. I want you to notice this here too. It says you're viewing this plan with limited permission. Please log in if you need additional access. So right now you can't access uh, all of the stuff right now. So if you go to access an MP3, it, it will play. But what you can't do is you can't change any of your settings. If you go over here to change settings, it's going to give you this right here that says your access is denied because you need to go up here and log in. So we'll go up here and we'll log in. And I want to show you just one other feature here. So there's our email address, our password again, 111111. Log in. It's going to take us back to that same screen. Okay. Well, it didn't, so we'll just click on here and we'll go to that screen. That's the choir Sunday that we're going to be on. It'll open up our screen here. And I just want to show you a couple things that I change on my account that may be helpful for you. The first thing I change is this setting right here. Uh, this shows the length and minutes of each element in the service, but I like to see the time, too, that it's going to be at. So I just click there. I go down to all times and then it sets it like this. So you can see 8, 9, 30, 11 and the time that each element will take. Of course you can set that for however you want to set it but that's how I prefer to set that. Okay. The other thing that I suggest you do is go over here, scroll down to the note categories here to person and click on that. It may be helpful just to see who's doing what and where the choir is. That way you see the choir. Oh, they're singing this song. And then you'll just be able to see where the choir is positioned in the service. So you can see in this particular service, choir is singing right here, second slot in the service. There will be a welcome. We'll read some, some of, of Psalm 103, and then we'll go right into Praise the Lord, Psalm 103, your song. 
Now for this Sunday, you guys are on to sing corporate as well, and these are the corporate songs in the set. And so, um, what I think is great about Planning Center Online is you can go over with your cursor to the side here, hover over that number right there, and then you'll see this drop-down screen come up, and you can access MP3s. So if you want to hear the song, you can click on that, the song will play. Of course, you can hear it all the way through, right? So you can practice that way. You can access lyrics to the song. If you just want to access the lyrics, the PDFs are here. But again, too, for the corporate songs, you can access those. And this, I'd love for you guys to do that. Um, I spend a lot of time doing this uh, as the worship leader, just worshiping through the songs. Our team does that. And if you are singing corporately, I'd love for you to be familiar with the songs. So again, you just hover over any of these. You can go down. You can see the MP3. You can press here for it to play. You can get the lyrics. And you'd be able to listen. Uh, at bare minimum, to listen to these songs would be, would be really helpful. And you'd just come knowing them a little bit better on Sunday morning. So... Um, this Sunday we are seeing corporately. We don't always do that, but wanted to make you aware of that. Those are the main features uh, that you're able to use. So MP3s, lyrics, um, and then seeing where choir is. One other thing I want to make you aware of is the Planning Center app. So if you have a smartphone, uh, whether that's an Android or Apple or whatever it is, you can download the Planning Center app and uh, you would see a screen like this once you have downloaded it. What that allows you to do is then access those songs in your media player, take you to a screen that looks like this, and you can play those songs from your phone. You can listen to them in the car, uh, you can listen to them kind of wherever you are with headphones. A great way to be able to become familiar with some of the stuff that's going on in the service. Um, another thing that you're able to do is go to Planning Center Live, which is not showing up on this picture right here, but it would be at the very bottom. And during the Sunday, you click on Planning Center Live in your app, and you're able to see right where we are in the service. You can see how many minutes are left uh, on the previous element and on the, the element after, whatever you need to see. That's helpful, especially if you're singing in a later slot in the service, say the offering or the closing song. So. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, pretty simple. If you have any questions, please always feel free to email me or get a hold of me. Um, but yes, yeah, I, I still look forward to serving with you. And thanks so much for your heart to uh, help us worship the risen Lord, Jesus Christ. Love you guys.